Hey, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Congratulations to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I've never really watched the Super Bowl, but I figured, I mean, I've never watched the Super Bowl like by myself. Usually I go somewhere where people actually really enjoy it. So this was the first time I actually really watched it. And I really watched it because I wanted to see um, Tom Brady playing, you know? Because the big thing is that he's, what, 47 years old and he wins like a Super Bowl, which is for like elite athletes against um, a quarterback who is, you know, much younger than him. However, obviously, it doesn't take one person to win a game, right? It's teamwork. But I just really think that Tom Brady shows no matter how old you are, if you develop a good work ethic and you um, stick to uh, rituals and practices and habits, you can basically achieve a very, very much. And so congratulations to um, Tampa Bay. how we were featured on um, Girls Night In, which is a online uh, sort of blog, but it's also basically a newsletter whose mission is not, um, our mission at Girls Night In is to help you unwind and take care and connect. So they featured us um, as a great gift to give for yourself for Valentine's or to give, to either give to yourself or give as a gift. And they featured our shower steamers and so our shower steamers are one of our best-selling products. Here they are. And this is the six pack and you get to try each one of the aromas, which is the eucalyptus, the lavender, and the ascend and the wake, which is made with a blend of grapefruit. Um, these shower steamers are wonderful. Uh, and each one can be used for sort of a different vibe. So uh, the lavender is for a relaxing vibe. It smells really good. Uh, it smells of course of lavender, which lavender, uh, most of you know, is for relaxation. But I know a lot of people, um, customers say they use this one at night and it helps them to fall, to sleep and to relax and get a really good night's sleep. So that's the lavender um, shower steamers that comes in the six pack. Of course, you can buy them individually if you would want. If you want to, um, you don't have to buy the six pack. You can buy the bath. Uh, the, you can buy the shower steamers uh, individually if you'd like. But the best value is to buy them um, as a six pack, and they make really good gifts. This here is the grapefruit and um, it's a blend of grapefruit, ylang-ylang, so it's a little bit sensual, but um, you know, the ylang-ylang gives it sort of that um, sort of a sensual fragrance, but the grapefruit also gives it some sort of fruitiness. Um, and so a lot of people like this one for, you know, maybe like a romantic date night. So I would recommend this one uh, for like romance or, uh, you know, if you're showering with someone else other, your, other than yourself. Or you just want to feel like luxurious or, um, you know, or, or just kind of get in the mood. This is a really good one. I, I've been told. <laughs> and then, of course, everybody's favorite is also the, um, I don't have any uh, um, eucalyptus, and this one is actually going out to a customer, and so I, I don't want to open it because we I would have to make, make some more. But here is the, um, the, the um, 
eucalyptus mint and that is also really great that one sort of wakes you up it's a really good morning one it kind of wakes you up if you have any kind of stuffiness or um, any of that kind of stuff it's really relaxing another great way to use the shower steamer um, I've been told by some of my customers who have a steam room is that it's excellent it takes their steam experience uh, to a next level so I have a lot of customers that have you know their own steam room at home and especially now with the sort of um, uh, COVID uh, you know it's just good to keep your 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 respiratory wellness sort of up and um, you know having a menthol type of uh, aroma or therapy experience can really be beneficial um, if not just to wake you up and give you, you know sort of that extra like um, feeling alive feeling alive in the morning type of stuff it helps you to focus you know focus is hard sometimes it may be hard to focus um, it it's really one of those things that can sort of like help you focus while you either shower or the, the, the aromas and the scents from eucalyptus uh, <clears throat> is really good for that kind of stuff. So how do you use a shower steamer? Uh, it's pretty easy. Shower steamers, you put on your shower, you put the, the shower steamer goes like somewhere um, where the, where not exactly directly in the stream because it'll just like over it'll just um, it will just um, fizz away really quickly you kind of put it in the like sort of away from the stream but enough so that water is touching uh, the shower steamer and then that will sort of start to break it down and it starts to effervesce and then it starts to release the fragrance and it just makes the whole shower experience so much more luxuriating so much more up, like it's like a such an uh, elevation of your shower and this simple little cube can kind of make your morning go from oh it's okay to oh i'm so happy to be alive kind of morning you know what i'm saying so yeah give it a try our, our shower steamers um are really good it's one of our best sellers and if you if you want go to our website you can see some of the great things that um, our customers are saying about the shower steamers I'm um, steamers perfect for evening uh, bathing at night is a ritual I practice religiously from childhood the lavender shower bombs make my shower joyful and relaxing I told you the lavender one a lot of people love it for the evening time so um, Dana on January 23rd said it makes her uh, makes her shower joyful and relaxing. So if you're looking for a joyful and relaxing shower, you might want to give our uh, lavender shower steamers a try. Um, Karen says the eucalyptus mint shower steamer is her bon is her favorite. I love the shower steamers. It, I turned on the shower and my bathroom turned into an invigorating spa like steam room. The scent is amazing and I look forward to trying the other scents. I gave a steamer to my daughter and she loved it as well. It was a wonderful way to get a quick burst of energy and aromatherapy to your day or add a nice sense of calm and relaxation to your evening. Also this came beautifully packaged and I will be ordering again. God bless you and grant favor upon you and your business. Oh this is so sweet of you Karen Wilson. Who um, left a comment on the product page of the shower steamers. I'll read one more, but you can go to the website. All these comments are there um, and you can see how people experience it. And I encourage you to try it. Give it a try. You might enjoy it. You might sell something new. If you're used to just doing bath bombs, um, you might want to give shower steamers a go. It's good for both men and women. And so it's not, it's, it's a great easy gift, right? Because it's, it's like everybody takes a shower. So what a like way to upgrade someone's morning routine and make it something, you know, just something that they would not, maybe not ordinarily think of for themselves, but that they would really appreciate it every morning when they experience it. So I know they make excellent, excellent gifts and it's like, 
easy. You get this six pack. It comes really nicely packaged uh, and it's easy to just keep this in your bathroom and take it as, as you need it. They're individually wrapped, so even if you buy a six pack and you want to give it to your best girlfriends, um, you know, I think that they will appreciate that as well. So you can buy one for yourself, but maybe wrap it up in a nice little tissue paper with a bow and then just send it or give it to your mom or give it to your sister or give it to your partner. It's a really nice all around gift and uh, I hope you guys uh, have courage to, to give it a try. And if you're not subscribing to the channel, please do. I told you guys this is a place where I'm going to be talking about my journey as an un into entrepreneurship. I'm going to talk to you about how I make the products, what are some of the benefits for the products that we make, but also just talk about like, you know, entrepreneurship and what what some of the challenges can be for it. So like I, I started the video talking about how we were featured as um, in this um, gift guide, which was something that uh, was really lucky, uh, but it doesn't have to be about luck. So PR is something that you can hire a PR agency and what they would do is they would um, basically write a little letter about your business and then send that letter to all the different uh, sort of like blogs or newspapers or magazines that they think your business would be really good to um, the customers of your business read or are you know um, subscribers to that magazine or, and, or blog. And uh, they would then ask you as the business owner to send a sample and then the PR agency that you hired would take this sample and send it to all the different uh, venues that they have suggestions uh, for your brand. Uh, a lot of times PR agencies can also even craft a little note uh, so that when the editor of the magazine or the blog gets it, they kind of have an idea of, you know, a story idea um, already and then once they give that story idea, they will just, it's easy for them to sort of push it into whatever they're writing. So something like Valentine's Day, if you work with a PR agency, what they can do is sort of create a little story around your product. So if it's the case of shower steamers, it could be like shower steamers are great gifts to give for Valentine's because it's something that you can do together as a couple and they would sort of write this storyline and send it out to different editors and if editors um, with the, with your sample product so you'd also be responsible for sending um, samples so that the editor or the blogger can experience it and um, really get a sense or even very excited about your product which is what you want them to do but now to do this and work with a PR agency, it can be really expensive. A lot of them ask you to keep them on retainer because um, the work is not just about sending it one time, but they kind of follow up and they build a relationship. And a lot of PR agencies have relationships with editors or bloggers or whatever, so they can often get you um, a slot in, on, on, on that paper. That's just one way. Sometimes. Um, you can, and they also kind of put together like a list of, you know, maybe a hundred or whatever, or a few, quite a number of, of um, businesses that they suggest that you can, you should work with. And uh, if, if, and they send it out, and obviously if your stuff gets accepted, um, it becomes like a big boost to your business. I been lucky to have this happen to me twice. I haven't worked, I don't work with PR agencies, uh, but I'll tell you about that later. But I got um, featured as a great gift for, for Christmas in Essence, Essence Online, and now this um, Girls Night Inn has been my second feature. So those have been really good to speak to my target market. And uh, if your target market is similar to mine, you might want to give uh, either Essence or um, Girls Night in a, a sort of a shout out. But what I did is, um, so I, because I, working with agencies can be very pricey. It can be, you know, um, thousands of dollars to keep on retainer. And 
you may not be able to do that starting out with your business, but if you have a really good product, it's a good idea to get to um, send, send samples because if your product is that good and you know that if you, somebody tries it, they're going to love it, then why not send it, you know? So that's a really good strategy is sending, send, sending samples and especially for a product that my, like mine which I make myself, it's not as expensive to send a sample versus others who perhaps uh, buy products wholesale, you know, like for example, if you selling if you're selling jeans, it might be hard to send jeans as samples, uh, or maybe a little bit, you know, because everybody has different size. Um, so you might have to do something else when it comes to PR and stuff like that. But if you're a handmade business like me and you have samples, it's really a great idea to send. Uh, samples to people who you think will promote and talk about your products, right? Um, I, I send a lot of samples, uh, people ask me for samples, and um, I make things and sometimes either I have, um, you know, because my products, I like them to be fresh, so if I have a lot of products and somebody is asking me for a sample and they're an influencer or they are going to give me publicity, I take it on a case per case basis to see if this is something that I want to do in terms of my marketing. Um, but you can also do it in another way which is for uh, go to blogs or magazines that you like and most of them have a section for PR and then they will tell you like what's their rate or what they do for you. You probably want to start with uh, influencers because influencers um, probably are more affordable than say uh, going directly to O Magazine because O Magazine would probably be really very expensive although that's something you should probably put in your back pocket because you should always set big big dreams put a vision board put O Magazine there um, that's something that you're gonna wanna say one day I'm gonna get to O Magazine even though it's not happening today and then go start with with influencers um if you're on instagram which you should be uh look at in, look at influencers who are smaller meaning like they have a, a following of under ten thousand, and then send them products and say hey i'll send you product in exchange for you featuring me on your uh, website i have good relationships with one or two uh, influencers and some influencers have reached out like have liked my product and posted it um without uh, um without uh, a payment just because they really like it so sometimes um you can get that as well right but um so shout out to I don't know if I should say their name but I I if I say their name it's more just to say thank you for you know for your support and I really really appreciate it but I have this one influencer she's even bought my products to give to her mother she bought it for herself and then she bought it for her mother and then she would share it on her social on her stories so that's really like a really good way to um to get your stuff out there especially if your product is really good so to wrap things up if PR is really good for your brand especially if you have a very good product to get PR it means you have to get your products and usually through samples out to bloggers magazines or influencers influencers under 10k is probably the best way to start because usually they will just take things for free and then they will help you to get your message out. Uh, the second part could be actually going into um, to blogs that um, you read or you like and that represent your target and reaching out to the editor and or looking for their PR or their rates, rate card is what I think they call it, and, and uh, sending them samples or if it's affordable, then make the payment, but mostly if it's not affordable, a lot of times they'll do or take samples because they're also looking for content 
for their blog or for their um, magazine. So that's a really good way. And then of course the third way, which is the more traditional way, is hire a big PR company. Uh, well, not big, but hire a PR company because they can be small teams as well. Put them on a retainer and the benefit is that for, of that is obviously they have a lot of already built in um, contacts and you don't have the you may not have the time to go around and find the, 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 the blogs or the magazines that represent your target right so a, a company that charges you a small retainer might be the right thing for you depending on where you are in your brand or on in your in the life cycle of your brand so thank you guys anyway that's basically it uh, uh, happy Valentine's. If you're looking for a Valentine's Day gift, don't forget to go to Soul Bomb Sisters. Check out our shower steamers. You, you would like it. Um, I'm sure you'd like it. It's one of our best-selling products and um, it's available now for sale. And Valentine's Day, of course, is February 14th, so which is very soon. You have, um, what, February 14th is the day. Oh, that's a nice Valentine's Day. You have so you have exactly um, one, two, three, four, four business. Well, today is my day, so one, two, three, five business days um, to to get that. If you live in New York area or anywhere in the Midwest, if you order today, which is today is uh, Monday, uh, February eighth. If you order Monday, February eighth, you will probably get your shower steamers by Friday, uh, so go to So Wow Sisters. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, leave any comments or questions you have. Tell me what you want to learn more about. If you're interested in PR and working with influencers and you have additional questions, please let me know. I also work uh, for a big brand in brand marketing, so I know a lot of information about those kind of things, although a lot of that is not right for my small brand, but you um i could ask you questions general questions and things that you can prepare for when you become bigger or you 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 know you have more um advertise or, or marketing budget to spend on those kind of things and you kind of just want to know and understand um what's that what it's like to work with pr and what exactly a pr agency uh does for you so it's been really wonderful sharing this with you. I hope you were able to watch the Super Bowl. Congratulations to the Tampa Bays. Uh, they did a great job. And like I said, it's never too old to start something and nothing is impossible if you work hard and you're dedicated and you're committed to, to, to the craft and give your time and attention to something. Keep the faith, stay positive, and until next time, bye.